allbrands.com and welcome to the All Brands Show. I'm Barbara Chatelaine. I'm so happy that you're here. Let us know where you're watching from, um, what you're working on, and how's the weather over there? I know it's just so unpredictable these days, but we're so excited to have you on the show for our Adidas virtual showcase for January of 2021. Can you believe it? Okay, so we have some winners from last week, uh, sorry, last Tuesday's video with Lewis Carney. So our first winner, drum roll please, is Lori Bearden Smith, and she won a $50 Allbrands.com gift card for posting the beautiful bassinet on our So Forum community group on Facebook. That's Allbrands.com So Forum community, and we hope you join as well. So our next winner, <laughs> let's see who it is, Carol Surgeon. She won $50 at a $50 allbrands.com e-gift card for joining allbrands.com so forum community on Facebook. So congratulations there. So on Tuesday uh, this week, we did an amazing live with Lewis Carney. So if you miss that, please check our channel and rewatch that um, because he just went, uh, it was called A to Z with Lewis Carney and it was so fun. Um, but we had some specials on Scan and Cut and we had a random giveaway for that. So if they purchased the Scan and Cut uh, within 24 hours of watching that live, they were eligible to win a $200 All Brands gift card. So we picked a winner of that and congratulations Rhonda Daly for winning the $200 allbrands.com e-gift card uh, that you can use on our website and we ship basically anywhere <laughs> anywhere that you want to ship us to ship to so um, how do you win the next giveaway so we have uh, a, another event on Tuesday with Floriani. We're going to be with Shanae, and she's going to be showing us some really cool uh, stabilizer and embroidery tips and tricks. And that will be Tuesday at 1 o'clock. So the link to register for that is in the, um, is in the description below. But um, anyone who likes, comments, and shares this broadcast is eligible to win a $50 All Brands gift card for that. And we also have some very cool, exciting specials in this event that I hope that you take advantage of and some mystery special boxes for people um, <laughs> that register for our All Access Club. So I will, we will take a little virtual vacation to North Carolina where Anita Good Design is located and we're going to be meeting with Jen LaVoy there, and we're so excited. So, Jen, take it away. We'll see you soon. Hey, everyone, it's Jen, and welcome to Anita's virtual showcase. I am going to be going through all things you want to see, uh, the latest and greatest. If you've never been to a virtual showcase before, how this is going to work is I'm going to be chatting with you and showing you everything that Anita Good Design has created in the month of January, and then I'm going to show you some really awesome sneak peeks to follow. So you definitely want to stay tuned. I'm going to go over club membership and then I'm going to give you something to remember at the end and then off we go with the rest of our day. So I want to begin with our embroidery collections in the month of January. This first one is really fantastic. It's a nice traditional throwback here to our twall style of collection. So the first embroidery uh, collection I'm going to show you is called Cherub Twall. And you're going to have that one stitch um, single color thread here. And you have these really beautiful, I'm going to show you the, the best ones in my opinion, these really beautiful 
cherub toile designs. And it really has that traditional style of toile that most of you are used to if you are used to um, this type of artwork, this type of embroidery. Um, and these are quick to stitch out. It's just one step, one color. Um, thread your machine, off you go. The other really exciting thing about the Cherub Toile Collection is we're also going to be giving you far, 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 hi, hello, how are you doing today? <laughs> we're going to be giving you five larger Cherub Toile designs that you're able to fill in with different thread colors. So again, you'll notice that these scenes that I'm showing you are going to be a little bit larger. And you can see where the color changes are happening there. So you just have some additional scenes within the Cherub Twelve collection. So there's only five of them. Here's a sneak peek of what some of them look like. And again, they still have that traditional twall theme that's happening, uh, but you do have a little bit extra with that color change. And that collection is out in the month of January, like I said, and it's called Cherub Twelve. The other really interesting project that we show you, if you are an All Access member and you have received your January All Access book, there's going to be a really neat content piece inside that shows you how to randomly hoop a larger piece of fabric. And as you um, move your fabric around your hoop, you're stitching out a different, one of those traditional cherub designs. And in the end, you're going to get this really amazing style looking pillow here. You can see that we added all these cherub toile designs. There's no real rhyme or reason to where they're being placed. They're kind of just at random, like you can see here on the piece of fabric. So some of the designs do appear to be cut off and, and that's fine. Once that's done, that's kind of the style of the pillow. And then we just went ahead and filled it in with some fun kind of border with these little pom-poms here. And, and to, to learn how to do this, you would have to be um, a current club club member or purchase that January back issue so that you have the content piece that shows you how to create that pillow. Our next embroidery collection I'm going to show you, Valentine's Day is right around the corner. So this next collection is going to be called Pups and Kittens Valentines. This will fit in a smaller four by four embroidery hoop. So if you have the smaller hoop and you're looking for designs to play with, this is excellent for you. These designs are really fun. They're a little bit more cartoony, a little bit more whimsical. Each scene has either a pup or a kitten, or they might have both, and they're doing all the valentines -y type things. These would be great on a little gift bag. If you have um, little grand babies in your life, you can make them little gift bags and have valentines goodies in there, whether there's some cookies or if they're little candies and whatnot. Uh, and then also this collection is going to come with a blank quilt block. And what you can do with that is take these designs, merge them into that blank quilt square, and then you're able to make a really small little wall hanging if you want. You could turn that into placemats. You can turn those into trivets or a hot plate holder. Uh, all the fun things you can do with our pups and kittens Valentine collection. Uh, real simple collection is next. This one is called Continuous Fashion. Oh my goodness, I forget what it's called here. Continuous Line Beauty. Let me just take a peek at my cheat sheet. And it is exactly what I'm talking about. So you have these fashion-esque type themed designs. And it's just one continuous thread stitch with this beautiful line work. And you have some icon seen here being stitched out once it's it's completed. So we have the girl here uh, spraying on some perfume. This one's holding her little kitty cat. And then you have ones that are a little boom. Hey, I'm glam for you. So if you like this style, you're looking for something that's a little bit easier. You're just kind of starting out playing with embroidery designs. This one's going to be excellent for you because it really is just going to need you to hoop your embroidery machine and hit that go button. Off you go with the continuous line beauty. Uh, the next embroidery collection is cotton bouquets. So the scenes in the cotton bouquets collections will feature uh, different cotton style designs with a little floral element to them. 
some of the designs you'll see in a jar type element, or they might even be in the shape of a wreath that you could end up using different fonts in your machine and monogramming. So I'll just show you a couple of those right here. So here's one of the cotton bouquets. This would be one where it's in that jar. Here's just a little cotton bouquet by itself. No jar included. I mentioned the designs that look like they're in this wreath type feature. So you can see that here. This spot right in the center would be great for you to add uh, some type of personalization, uh, whether you're using a font collection that you already have or if you're merging in uh, a certain letter off of the font on your machine. But you can see the different different styles of designs here. I think I believe this one was our prototype for the for the collection. But they're pretty they're pretty straightforward bouquet. Um, oh my god, I just lost the name of that collection. <laughs> Cotton bouquets. I do this every Anita's virtual showcase that I am teaching y'all is forgetting the names of the collections. Good thing I have my little cheat sheet here. But anyway, these are really straightforward, different cotton bouquet elements, uh, ways you can use them in different types of projects, whether it's a bag or making a pillowcase and whatnot. Uh, this last embroidery collection is styled off of uh, Art Nouveau, if you're familiar with that. If not, you'll see the, I'll show you a couple of examples and you'll see what that style looks like. Uh, these designs are absolutely stunning. They're pretty realistically stitched here, uh, but again, it does have that Art Nouveau style, right? So you can see that in the color. You can see that with uh, the types of applique that's in the background, the type of decorative stitching that's surrounding the design itself. These are made up of all different women being featured in each one of the Mystical Muses collection. This is what this is called, Mystical Muses. Beautiful designs. These look gorgeous. We ended up making, we did create a beautiful pillowcase out of these. It looks really nice. Um, you'll really like uh, doing those. So the, the quality of digitizing in here is really impeccable. Uh, the, the, the shading, the highlighting, all that goes into really creating a, a type of piece that turns out looking like this once that's complete. From here, I'm going to move us into our quilting collections for the month of January. Uh, the first quilting collection I have is called Fantasy Quilt. So if you love all things mythical creatures, this is absolutely the quilting collection for you. So you can see how I have some blocks featuring fairies, or I have these types of creatures. I know they have names, so please, I apologize that I do not remember the names of them right now. <laughs> but if you are familiar with this type of design and this type of fantasy work, then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, from here, we took some of the blocks and put them in a four block quilt so you can get an idea of what those might look like. So you have a couple of the characters featured in that fantasy quilt here. Same thing here. You have a couple of different featured creatures and lords and whatnot in, in our fantasy quilt. So that's a, that's a fantasy quilt for the month of January. Now the next quilting collection I'm going to show you is one of my personal favorites. I love it. It's really it's just really fun. I think that's the best way to really describe this next collection. And it's called Patchwork uh, Pets Quilt. So Patchwork Pets Quilt. It's, of course, going to be a patchwork style of quilt. And what you can see here is there's going to be cats, there's going to be pups, there's going to be uh, birds. Each of the blocks might have all of them or they might have one over the other. Uh, what we did with this to make it a little bit more vibrant and fun is use fun, bright colors, and the animals that are being featured are going to be styled in a way that you wouldn't normally see them. So that's what makes it a little bit more playful. We used a really interesting just black and white color palette for the background. You can see that here. You have your crazy um, stitches also that are part of these designs. So you can really bring in a lot of colors and add a bunch of really fun and playful contrast to this quilt once it's done. I have my favorite, I have my favorite block. I love to show this one during my virtual showcase. So I'm going to show that to you. That one's right here. This little kitty cat in the tree, I just think is really neat. I think you ladies 
and gentlemen really love that there. So that one was called uh, Patchwork Pets Quilt. That's the other quilting collection that will come out in the month of January. Now the last bit of January will be our project collection. So I'm gonna show you those and we'll wrap up the month of January and move on to our sneak peeks. Now the first collection I have to show you is really awesome. I love this. It's something a little bit different. These are called confetti bags and our confetti bags were created with that clear vinyl material and then we added some different styles of confetti on the inside of the bag. So I'm hoping you'll be able to see. It's all kind of piled down here in this corner. Uh, the confetti is a bunch of different shapes. There's flowers, there's squares, there's circles, there's triangles, there's things you might not even know what they are. And that's fine, but it's all part of creating that confetti. And then it has this iridescent look. You might be seeing kind of that iridescent shimmer on screen right now. So that, that confetti that's moving around on the inside, I'll try to shake it around for you. It has that like fun iridescent feel. And there's confetti of all different sizes. So I'll show you some different types, of the con different types of the confetti that we use. Another thing I'd like to point out are these really fun sayings that are on the front. This particular bag is gonna say born to sparkle. And you can really experiment and get creative with the different applique fabrics that you're using. So you might see that we've used a lot of um, glitter vinyl. I'll show you here in a moment. This is an interesting one. I'm not even sure the exact name of this type of fabric. It is a vinyl. And I think we found this online somewhere, but it has this really pretty kind of, it's like a mermaid fabric, I guess, because it has that iridescent like pink and blue and green, depending on the way that you turn that. So another one I want to show you is we have our beauty queen bag. Now our beauty queen bag, oops, I got two there, uses just all black stars. And then you can see the iridescent silver stars that are kind of intermingled between all of the smaller black stars. So that's a fun way to use the confetti. We have the XOXO bag. This was a great example of using those glitter vinyl I mentioned. Uh, these glitter vinyls here on the O, is probably a glitter vinyl that you are more apt to, to seeing yourself. This other kind of chunky glitter vinyl, that was something that we didn't even shop for, but ended up falling upon. So we're like, ooh, this would be really cool to use that in our confetti bags collection. Uh, this last one, oh, I have two more that I'm gonna show you. This last one here, Girl Boss. Uh, we used a butterfly confetti and the confettis you can find, you know, or your craft stores, you can find them online. You might have some, you can even use those little, um, oh my goodness. It's like the little paper. Oh my goodness. The hole punchers. <laughs> I'm like, what is that called? The hole punchers that are shaped in a different shapes or themes and whatnot. You could use that and you could punch out your own confetti and make your own different colors with different paper. Uh, but you can see here, you have these really fun butterfly shaped confettis. They're all in there. Again, I'm just trying to shake it around so you can see that it gives this added kind of fun element to the confetti bags. And then my last favorite is this glam bag. Cause again, we're using some different types of applique material. So we have uh, the twill fabric being used on the G and on the A. And then you're going to see that really chunky, kind of glitter sequency fabric again that we just happened to stumble upon when we were searching for some really fun appliques to use in this collection. Now our next project collection is very fitting for the times that be because this is all about hand sanitizer. These are the wonderful hand sanitizer pouches. Now your hand sanitizer pouches are going to come in designs that you're seeing here up on the screen where maybe it's just something at random. It's floral, it's a geometric style design. This one has a really interesting planter on it. Some of them, um, if you wanna make ones for like the little guys that you have at home, you have this really neat unicorns. Everyone's about, all the, all the youngins are about the little unicorns right now. Uh, the way that these, I'm going to show you my favorite sayings. There's other ones that have sayings on them. I'll get to those in a moment. Now, the way that these would work is on the back side, you can notice that we used Velcro to 
make this little loop here that's going to hold the hand sanitizer inside. So you would just plug that in there, top of it's going to pop out the top, and then boom, this holds it in. Now you can add, you might notice this one does not have a little um, ribbon for a keychain. My previous one did, so I'll show you that. You could add this grow grain ribbon or string or something more creative if you'd like uh, into the hooping when you're when you're putting this together. And this creates a loop and that loop can then go on your little key ring if you want. You can attach it to the purse somewhere. Uh, and again, if that's keychain even, but if that's not something you even want to use, you just want to take this, and pop that into your um, tote bag or pocketbook or your purse, that's fine. You can absolutely do that as well. Now, as I mentioned, some of these are going to have different sayings on them. So I'll show you the sayings because these ones are funny. I like them a lot. Keep calm and sanitize, <laughs> or we have spread kindness, not germs. And then my personal favorite is keeping it clean since COVID-19. So these are, these are our hand sanitizer pouches, a project collection that comes out in the month of January. My last January collection is going to be a really interesting project that's called Star Pin Cushions. So you could probably guess that the star pin cushions are going to be in the shape of the star that you're seeing up here. Now, what you will do with the star pin cushion is you want to make sure that you're reading tutorial instructions. The tutorial instructions are going to tell you how many blocks you're going to need. You'll need five blocks that feature embroidery. And then you can see on the side and on the bottom, I just used some fun printed fabric to finish up the entire pin cushion uh, once it's done. So once you have all of your 15 blocks either stitched out or cut out, then the instruction of the tutorial is going to then show you how to construct your pin cushion and you'll create something that looks like this. And it's a pretty decent size. You can see me holding that in my hand right now. Uh, and then you can also use the blocks in different ways. So I'm gonna try to set this up so that you can see exactly how we use the block. So on this particular pin cushion I have here with the blue top, we put all of the decorative embroidery right on top of our pin cushion. Uh, I use the same design and repeated that five times. If you wanted to use two different designs and go every other, you could, of course, do that. Uh, if you wanted to use five different designs, uh, then you could do that as well. You can also place the embroidery portion along the side. So you're seeing that here where I've placed that embroidery portion along the side and I've used a decorative or patterned fabric on top. Now, if you wanted to take all 15 blocks that are needed for this and embroider on all of those, obviously you can do that. So there's a, a bunch of ways that you can play around with the star, pish, uh, star cushion, star pin cushion. I don't know what's happening with me today. Don't mind me. At least I'm keeping you entertained and, entertained and listening. <laughs> now, the last thing I do want to mention is also in the month of January, if you do have that all access book and you are a current member, we did take our star pin cushion to the next level and created a very large gigantic one. So I'm gonna hold this up in front of me right now. I'm like the great Oz in the background trying to talk to you. <laughs> so we have this really giant star pin cushion that we're actually using as a fun pillow, but we took regular size quilt blocks uh, you could use quilt blocks of ours from any quilting collection that you have. I need a good design wise. We stitch these out. These are in our A size, which would be our eight inch block. So all of the blocks that we use, this, this fabric on top here is pretty heavily patterned. So it might be a little bit challenging to see the free motion stitching that is on there, but you can see the side blocks and that bottom block has all that free motion stitching. So we use... Uh, free motion stitched quilt blocks from a previously released quilting collection to create this really fun theme decorative pillow that you can incorporate into your home decor. And that wraps up all of my collections for January. So what I'm going to do now is move us into 
taking a look at the future sneak peeks that we have. All right, so we're going to take a look at these sneak peeks, and I'm super excited to show them to you because we have some really great things coming up. Now, everything that I'm about to show you, uh, if you are a club member or you end up signing up for club membership, you will be receiving uh, the following items that I'm going to show you, the following collections I'll show you. But um, the names I give them are going to be subject to change, so just be mindful of that. And also, these are sneak peeks, so I'm not entirely sure when they will be released. But even that being said, again, if you are a club member, you will receive them. And if you are not a club member, you can absolutely purchase them once they are released. I'm going to start with something a little simple. These designs that I'm going to show you are called, let me take a peek at my cheat sheet here, Modern Motifs. The modern motifs are made up of simple bean stitches. You have an assortment of designs that are going to be included in here with that, that bunny rabbit and the carrot. You have the butterfly with the flower. We have a giraffe here. Some of them have animals on them. Well, quite a, now I keep turning them and they all have animals on them. Uh, let's see if there's an, anything else here. Yeah, you have some seashells and and flowers. So if you're looking for something, oh, here's one that's a little seasonal with the pumpkin there. If you're looking for something quick and simple, these are excellent. These would look really great if you made some really nice placemats and put that on the table decor. You could change that out seasonally. Um, if you have somebody that likes uh, seashells or maybe they have a beach house, you could maybe make them some uh, lens for the bathroom with these and these will not take you very long to stitch out so you could make a couple projects uh, with these items in just a few days work next up here i'm going to be showing you our latest uh, shamrock collections now the this is called shamrock wreaths so that's what i'm going to be calling it right now uh, they're each in a style of wreath whether it's a closed wreath or you'll see in a moment where they're open uh, they're really great because you can use them. Well, you can use something like this as, as a frame and you can frame an initial and per personalize the project that you're giving to whomever. You have something like this, a little bit more open. These ones, or this one has some different elements in there. You can see that with the horseshoe. So maybe if you have, you know, lucky horseshoe in the shamrocks, so if you have someone that needs a little bit more luck, maybe you can make a really fun little gift for them to, to cheer them up. And then you even have some smaller shaped ones too. So here's another shamrock design in that closed wreath shape that features different floral elements within the shamrocks themselves. Uh, right up next is, oh, I'm going to show you a really fun one. This is what we call peekaboo embroidery. Now how peekaboo embroidery works is you'll have to stitch this type of project out in two hoopings. Your first hooping will be some element. So in this case, we have a, don't mind my cutting here. It's, it's really wonky. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> be easy on the judgment. <laughs> this is a little door to a castle. I'm going to show you that in a minute. So my little door here is stitched out real simply, real easily using uh, the freestanding technique. And then what I'll do next is stitch out the main element. So in this case, we have the princess castle. And part of the design is meant to peekaboo. So it's going to peek out at you. Now from here, within this design, if you're noticing right next to the head of the princess, there's two little areas that are uh, Velcro. I'm, I don't know if you can hear the scratching, but I'm just trying to indicate I have Velcro here. I've put a piece of felt on the back of my um, princess castle door. And that way, when this gets attached, it sticks right on there because the felt will stick right to the hook side of uh, the your Velcro piece. And then boom, you have, look at how fun. You have this like peekaboo piece. You can take it off. You can put it back on. These, are, these make great little fun uh, items for the little ones in your life. We do have, uh, we have a digitizer here that gave us this idea because her son has a, he's got a little cute t-shirt. I forget, it's like an animal, but like his mouth opens up and then there's something inside the mouth. So we have these great little peekaboo designs from that. So if you wanted to put these 
on little children's garments, you're definitely able to do that. That'd be really neat, really fun. And it's something to, tangible for them that they can play with. Here we have this little um, penguin chick, I guess, popping out of the egg and then boom, look what happens when I open his mouth. His little tongue sticks out at you. So that one's pretty cute. Uh, we have the jewelry box. The jewelry box is really adorable. Now the jewelry box and that penguin that I just showed you, these fit together by a, there's gonna be a tacking stitch that blends in with the satin of a design. So it's hidden, but it allows the two pieces to come together. So you can see when I open the jewelry box, boom, my crown is there. And if you notice how fitting, we have a purple little jewel because purple is the color of royalty. So we have little crown jewel on our, on our little uh, tiara little crown that we keep in our jewelry box. All of us queens have crowns, right, ladies? I, I know you know. And then one of my favorites out of this entire collection is the barn. I just think it's really, really adorable. And then, of course, we have that cow that's on the inside when you open up those barn doors. So this one I am calling Peekaboo Embroidery, and that is to come. Uh, oh. I had a couple more, but I'm just going to move on from here. Next item I have, I have so much fun stuff. I'm like, ooh, what do I want to show them next? I'm going to show you these really neat designs. Okay. I'm putting out here what we are considering our tooth fairy pillows. And the tooth fairy pillows come with little characters that have these fun little faces on them, or they have really interesting little decorative elements. So we have a little guy here with this little pirate eye patch on him, or you have the little lady tooth with her pretty little eyelashes and her little magical wand. And then each one has the pocket. So let me pull these away here. So this one's got like a little pocket here. And of course you can put change in there, money in there. Uh, you can flip the pocket to the backside. Let me try to do that for you. If you wanted to flip that to the backside and put it on there, you can. And then you may have noticed some of them have writing on them. So this one says, I lost a tooth. And then this one is a tooth for a dollar. I like that one, tooth for a dollar. I would take more than a dollar if you'd like to give me that. <laughs> Send the money my way. All right, next up, we have the really interesting kitchen bag dispensers. Now the kitchen bag dispensers are going to be for all of us who have that drawer whether it's in the kitchen or somewhere where you open it up and it's just filled with plastic bags. Do any of you have that drawer that's filled with the plastic bags at home? I know I do, I'm guilty of that. So we have made a great project. Uh, we're calling this kitchen bag dispensers and it uses our quilting in the hoop technique and you stitch out, there's a bunch of different sayings on here. So we have the secret ingredient is always love. My dad used to say that about my grandmother's cooking. He's like, your grandmother's cooking will always be the best because she makes it with love. And it always was the best. Uh, blessed are those who wash the dishes. Yes, they are. Because I like to put everything in the dishwasher. <laughs> Unlike my mother who is still hand washing her, her dishes. So this one's cute too. Uh, kitchen, kitchens were made to bring families together. So you have all of these different types of designs. I'll show you some over here up close there. Life is short, make it sweet. I'm sorry for what I, I'm sorry for what I said when I was hungry. Maybe that should say, should have said hangry instead. Do you know what hangry means when you're so angry because you're hungry? <laughs> I'm guilty of that as well. The plastic bag's in the drawer and I'm guilty of being hangry most of the time. Girl likes to eat over here. Now what we do with these, so each one of uh, these, like I had mentioned, will be stitched out using our quilting in the hoop technique. So of course, you're gonna follow those same couple of steps. We'll be batting in there. You'll stitch it on the no-show mesh. You'll put your fabric down. Everything fun will stitch out after that and you'll have your block. Uh, the collection is also gonna come with a blank square that just has stippling. I'm trying to find the one that matches that, but this one might not have a match. So I'm just gonna use this one here. So you're also gonna have a blank stipple block. Each bag that is created or every kitchen bag dispenser that you make, you'll need to stitch out a front side of your dispenser and a back side. So your front side is gonna have 
and your backside will each consist of this blank stipple block. And then it will also, of course, consist of the decorative design of your choice. Now, there's a couple of ways to, I'm going to show you an example of the bag so that you can see what it looks like once it's finished. I'll hold it up here. So this one says, my kitchen, my rules. Yes, that's how I feel. I don't like anyone helping me when I'm in there. I know where everything is. I know where everything goes. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> my kitchen, my rules. So you can see the fun uh, kind of quilt block here up here with the design. And then we have that blank stippled block on the bottom. And then boom, I have my never ending. There we go. This is a really large plastic bag <laughs> that comes out of that once it's finished. Now, one thing to know, I'm not sure if we can... I'm not sure if we can see all this in, in the in the camera, kind of, sort of. So I'll move it up a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about. The other thing you can keep in mind is the way that mine is arranged, where I have put my decorative block on top and I've put my stippled block on the bottom. If I flip it over to the back side, you're going to see that same arrangement. Decorative block on top, stipple block on the bottom. Now, you can have fun with this project collection by changing up the assortment. So let's say maybe I wanted to do the uh, decorative on top and stippled on the bottom, but then maybe on the back side I would flip flop it where my stippled block would go on top and my decorative would go on the bottom. You can change your arrangements and assortments. With that also being said, uh, the blocks that are stitched out with the decorative embroidery are the eight by 12 quilt block of ours that you are most likely familiar with if you have our quilting collections. So what you're able to do is you can even incorporate other quilting collections of ours to create different kitchen bags. So if you want it, if you didn't, let's say you like the idea of the bag, maybe you've outdone yourself and you, you've used every saying that comes with the collection and you want to move on to something else, you're definitely able to incorporate our previously released collections and arrange them in any manner you would like. Our next sneak peek is another fun one. It is called Paper Piecing Mermaids. What you'll notice about these mermaids is they all use this folded fabric technique to create the tail. Now, when we use our folded fabric method in this way, we call this paper piecing because we are putting different fabrics down and once all the fabrics are put down and the outline takes place, that satin stitch stitches out, we now have an identifiable object. So in this case, for this collection, our paper pieced area would be the tails of the mermaids and all the mermaids look different. They're all posed differently. We had a lot of fun using different, we use dance wear material. Uh, I believe it's like, I believe it's a Lycra. It's really pretty. We, we have some different colors coming up. But then we also found this mermaid scale Lycra in coordinating colors with the Lycra that, of dance wear that we already had. So it really was, I feel like, meant to be for this collection. So you can see we have the greens here. I just showed you the purple. I just have green and purple to show you here. I forget if we did these in any other colors, but it's really fun. We use some gold dance wear in here for the applique behind the mermaid tail. These designs are just really, really neat to play with, really neat to play with. Uh, I have one last sneak peek for you, and I've been saving this one for last because I think you're really going to love this. This is an up and coming large release that we have and we are calling this spring one two three it does follow our one two three method so just to remind you what that is uh, the one two three method we use is when we would take a quilt block so let's see in here this little shiny background let me put this down so i can really show you so we have like 10, ooh, maybe more than that, different background blocks. And then what you would do is you load your background block onto your embroidery machine. From there, you can select to add a frame. 
So you have a bunch of these different frames. So you can see I kind of have a double frame here. I have a different one down here. This frame actually creates a different shape going on in my block here that's different from that rectangular one that I was just showing you going back to. Uh, the third element is you would merge in an embroidery design. And the Spring 123 collection is going to come with a handful assortment of embroidery designs. So you can see I have this little mushroom house here. We have the great little gnome. I'm going to show you some more in a moment. Uh, in Spring 123, you do get the background blocks. You will get the frames. You will get the embroidery designs. There's five different themes within Spring 123. So you'll notice when you have this tutorial in front of you and you're reading through it, there'll be things um, labeled as modern blooms or wildflowers, Art Nouveau, uh, vintage rose. So again, there's five of those themes. The collection is also going to come with, you can see here, these are running stitch blocks that comes with the collection. The collection is also going to come with crazy stitch blocks. So I have our crazy stitch blocks all in, in this sample here, and it's going to feature um, the collection in general and as a whole will feature square blocks and rectangular blocks. So that gives you a lot of room to play with the different quilt patterns that you end up putting together. But it is a one, two, three feature. So you really are going to be able to customize the quilt blocks that you're creating by loading your background, selecting a frame for that background, and then choosing that embroidery design that goes over on top. So you can see a couple of the other embroidery designs that are included. And then I have a larger one that I can show you. I love this one. So that little frog is probably one of my favorite designs in that whole, in the whole collection. The frog and the gnome, I think, are my two favorites. But again, this is called Spring 123. You can really see all those beautiful running stitch blocks that are included. And so you'll be able to build your next season of um, customizable blocks with that Spring 123 collection. Now, what I want to do from here is really get into how you all can get your hands on everything I was just showing you with our club membership program. Uh, Anita Good Design has one club, me club membership. It's called our All Access Club. And when you are part of our club, what you are getting is every single collection that we release in every month that you are in that club. Now, that's going to be delivered to you in this amazing lifestyle looking book here. Looks very magazine like. like. And inside the book, I have January's book for you so you can all see that. Inside the book and outside the book are some really great things. So of course, you're getting a little peek of what's inside on that front cover. Your back cover shows you every single collection that's going to be featured inside of this month's membership. And you want to remember, it's not just slim pickings of designs. It's every single design that comes in every single collection that's being featured in whatever month's book, right? And there's some really nice things that I want you to look at inside the book. Now, for one, we're going to give you nice, large images of the design files that are included for every single collection. You'll be able to see what the threads look like. You'll be able to see the details. You'll be able to see the color. You don't have to put your embroidery design onto a USB stick or into software to open that up and look at it. You're able to see exactly what the designs look like just by turning the pages of your all access book. Uh, the other thing that we do is we write instructions and we write instructions two ways. Oh, what's that? Did I just hear someone say that they don't like reading the instructions? I have learned that along the way and that's okay. But just so you know, those instructions are there and they're there in two ways. So the first way I'm going to explain to you is by picture steps. Uh, our picture steps are labeled with ABCs. The ABCs are going to take you through 
all the physical things that you're going to need to be doing to the collection. So you need to hoop a piece of stabilizer. You're going to be running a placement stitch and placing a piece of fabric. You might need to trim that fabric. You, depending on the design collection, you might have to flip that hoop over, cirque de soleil the hoop, flip it over to the back side, and you might be working on the, on the back of the hoop. The other really great set of instructions we write, you'll find at the back, in the back, of your all access book and these will coordinate with our or with your machine steps so these you know what i mean I, yeah i know i know you know these set this set of instructions will coordinate with the instructions that are happening right on your machine so your machine will tell you, okay, you're working on this design. It has this many steps in it. You're on step five of 15. So what's really nice about this set of instruction is you're never going to get lost and you're never going to be unorganized because even if you're in the middle of working on a project and you have to get up, whether it's to take a phone call or it's you, you got to cook dinner or it's time to go to bed <laughs> and let's say you don't even come back to it for a, a day a few days a few weeks that's okay because once you get back on your machine your machine's going to tell you exactly what step you're on and you'll be able to find that design in the back of the book you can locate the number step that your machine is indicating boom you can pick right up where you left off our all access book is also going to feature different bonus content that bonus content might be um, formal, might be informal. We might be showing you something fun on how to dye fabric or how to dye a quilt that we stitched out all in white to, hey, these are our free, or these are our three favorite stabilizers to use, and this is what you can use them on. Uh, now, we do have different ways for you to sign up for a club membership. So there's four different ways. I'm gonna talk about all four of them. The first way is a 12 month subscription. Now your this 12 month subscription is gonna be $1,400 for the year. Uh, the 12 month subscription can also be financed. If you choose to do so, you will wanna to talk to your dealer about that. Uh, this particular yearly subscription will also come with $1,400 in a gift card code, allowing you to shop our website at anitagooddesign.com. And that code is great because you can just hop on whenever you like and pick out all, all your free gifts. If you don't know what you even like yet, get to know your all access magazines, learn the techniques, the types of embroidery, quilting projects you like, and then you can shop your $1,400 worth of free gifts. Uh, this particular 12 month club will come with the physical book here. Your book will be delivered to your dealer location. They'll usually give you a heads up, whether it's via phone call or email and tell you to come pick up your all access club whenever it's, it's in there. Um, also, if getting to the dealer location is difficult, maybe you're just not leaving the house right now, or maybe it's too far of a drive for you, we do have home shipment options, and all you'll need to do is talk to your dealer about that as well. Uh, our second way to sign up is another 12-month membership, except this membership is at a discounted rate. That discounted rate is going to put you at $999 for the year. It is also that 12-month subscription. The 12 month subscription at the discounted $999 rate also will come with that physical book, also has home ship option if you would like that. It does not come with any free gifts though because you are, um, you are choosing that discounted rate and anybody can choose the discounted rate. It doesn't, you don't have to be renewing. If you just wanna try the 12 months with no free gifts this year, you can absolutely do that. Uh, this is another option that you can choose to finance. Just speak to the dealer about that. Our third 12 month option is our newest club option. And it's what we call our digital club. The digital club is not going to come with the physical book. You will not get that. Don't look at this. <laughs> As a digital club member, 
you will get the club in digital form. You will have a copy of the book, but it will be in the download, it will be digital, and it will be in PDF format. So you're able to open that up right on your laptop or right on your computer. You still get all the tutorials, you'll still get all the designs, you still get all the design file formats. Uh, no matter what machine you have, do not worry. We will provide you with the design file format that is just for you. Uh, the price on our digital club is $799 for the year. No free gifts come with that. Um, this is an excellent, excellent deal if you've never been a club member before. Now, our last and final sign-up option is what we consider our month-to-month -month club. Our month-to-month -month club is really, uh, I always like to tell everybody, if you've never really been a club member before and you're really interested in it, but you just can't commit to the year, maybe you don't like large upfront costs, maybe you don't like financing, uh, try out our month to month club. The month to month club will come with the physical book. You will get that every month that you are a member. Uh, the pricing on our month to month club membership is going to be $89 for the month and you decide how you're going to pay for that. Um, and again, you get to choose how long you are a club member when you're in month to month. So if you sign up for month to month and you just want to let it ride for the duration of eternity. You absolutely can do that. If you're somebody who spends, you know, X amount of months in one location and that's where you want all of your all access uh, books to go, or this is, that's the dealer location you like to visit. Uh, you could only be a club member for, you know, those amount of months. Uh, you can choose to pause, cancel, stop, restart. Uh, that's one of the really nice options with that month to month club membership. And this one also does not come with uh, any of the free gifts. Now you want to get into your dealer location or call them on the phone as soon as you can, because the first three people to sign up for an all access membership will receive a $500 value mystery gift. So there's an exciting gift just waiting with your name on it. And again, that's going to go to the first three people who sign up. So give your dealer a call, let them know that you're going to be join, joining a 12 month program, 12 month. This is only for our 12 month option there. So if you sign up for, if you're going to be signing up for the 12 month subscription, that year subscription, you can be, um, if you're the first three, you could potentially get your hands on that $500 bundle. Uh, we are in the month of January. So anybody signing up for club membership, uh, you will begin your membership in February of 2021. And that's going to run you all the way through January of 2022. I'm crazy that I'm saying that. <laughs> okay. So anyone who signs up for that yearly membership, again, just as a reminder, it's going to run you from uh, February 2021 to January 2022. Call your dealer. Let them know you want to sign up. They're going to take care of everything you need. Uh, if you're shopping free gifts, you need to head to our website. That's going to be at anitagooddesign.com. If you need help with anything Anita related, go ahead and reach out to our customer experience team. That email for them is customer experience at anita-gooddesign.com. So one more time, that's customer experience at anita-gooddesign.com. Now, lastly, before I leave, I come bearing the gift of shopping. Who does not like to go shopping? I know I am guilty. Yes. So what you need to do is contact your dealer, blow them up on their Facebook page because they have a coupon code that will allow you to shop anitagooddesign.com's website at 30% off. So you can get 30% off. You go shopping. You want to go shopping right now? Just give your dealer a call. I'm sorry, dealers, for the flood of calls you're about to get. <laughs> but again, let them know that you're interested in the coupon code that's offered and you'll get yourself a little 30% off discount when you're shopping. And that uh, website, again, is anitagooddesign.com. 
I hope you've all had a wonderful time at our Anita's virtual showcase in the month of January. We will see you all next time and have a good one. Thank you so much for that wonderful presentation. Don't y'all love Anita Good Design? What was your favorite thing that you saw? And can you believe All Brands is offering 12 months, 0% financing on all three of those club options. And for the shippable options, we are offering this year free shipping to your home on our website, www.allbrands.com. So don't forget, if you want to buy additional designs, you can hop on over to Anita Good Designs website and use that All Brands Jam 30 coupon to save 30%. So I have here three mystery boxes that I got in the mail from Anita Good Design. So if you're renewing your club or if you're purchasing a new club, uh, the first three orders that we receive for this will get a $500 mystery box. Do you want a sneak peek? <laughs> well, let's see just a little bit about what's in the box. And they're not all the same, but it will give you a little bit of whew, some exciting things that you can expect if you go ahead and purchase now. Now, the fastest way to purchase is on our website, allbrands.com. Oh, my gosh. Look at this cute swag bag. <laughs> Perfect for um, storing all of your, your books and quilts, too. Look, we have a giveaway coupon in there, as well as some full collections in the box. And let's see what else we have. Oh my goodness, there's just so much. Stitching stationery. More designs here. Oh my goodness, even more designs. So many extra designs. So don't miss your chance to be the first three, one of the first three to purchase the program from allbrands.com, which is a family owned and operated business in Louisiana and Texas. And we really appreciate you supporting us during this time. Um, so, oh my gosh, there's even more. Ah, and then you're gonna get so much with your club too with all of the wonderful instructions. And y'all, there's even more in this box. I can't even tell you, this is huge. $500 worth of product. Oh my goodness, there's so much. There's even more, <laughs> even more. So I wanna thank everyone for tuning in today um, and for Anita Good Design for being uh, moderating the comments uh, for us. And we will see you next Tuesday we have a Floriani event at 1 o'clock, and we'll be announcing the winner, a $50 Allbrands e-gift card. For anyone that likes, comments, and shares this post, if you are watching on YouTube, go ahead and click the bell to subscribe below. But we really love you, and we hope that you have a fantastic Thursday. Mwah.